to my um, fabric haul video. I've never done one of these before, so it is a first. Um, I've had a delivery over the past couple of days of um, fabric from two different suppliers. And um, I had a good sort out of my sewing room today, laid it all out on a shelf. I'll pop some pictures um, into the links later on. Um, but I got quite a combination of fabric. Um, when I'd done it, I thought, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out on my table what are the things that I want to make with this. Let's make a really clear plan and let's make match up the patterns to the fabric that I've got. So I've laid it all out on the table. I'm going to walk through it with you um, and show you how it all works together afterwards. But the fabrics that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet, let me just show you those first. So on my shelf here, first thing I got, and this was from we what are they called? Whoa. Do, 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 do. Hang on a second. Company I've never used before. Weaverd.com. Weaver D. Okay. So this was some of what I bought there. And that's a lovely, really nice blue and white ribbing. It is in a tubing. Okay. So it's double width, really. Um, and that'll be ideal for any sort of cuffs or neckwork that I want to do. So I've got that. I've got this black something or another i think it's got a bit of a wool content in there but i'm thinking that'll make a really nice um pair of smart work trousers at some point and then i've got um more of a remnant size piece really of this i bought this before actually and it's absolutely beautiful but i bought it for somebody else and i desperately wanted to keep it at that point but it is a knit fabric um don't know how much there is there i've not actually opened this up let's have a look together so I've got, I've got one metre, so I may, if I'm really clever, be able to make a little jumper, maybe like the Linden sweatshirt. Um, if I can't get a sweatshirt out of it, what I'll do is I'll probably use that fabric for the front and the back in a raglan style and then go for something maybe a grey or a black or something like that to go and do the sleeves with. So no real plans for that. And then my other two pieces is this. So I have a few meters of this. It is a Rose and Hubble fabric, also from weebedeve.com. Um, I just really, really love the colors. That pale blue really, really appeals to me. It's quite a denim, I suppose, light denim colors. And these are sort of quite goldy, browny color, gold, brown, green. And I think that'll make a really nice crisp sort of um, shirt dress, something like that. My next fabric, again, I don't have a plan for it, but I blooming love it, is this. Look at that. Can you see? Quack, quack. Little ducks. And it's a really, really soft fabric. So loads of options with that. So talking about the plan, I have got set out on here three, six, seven, eight projects that I'm going to run through with you that I want to make. OK, so these purchases were very purposeful and it was all based or most of it was based around um, Sew Over It, Lisa Comfort's City book. Uh, it's an e-book that I bought a little while ago. And then I got in touch with Patternsy. It's a local company to get all of the um, the patterns printed off in one go. So they all arrived in a really lovely uh, envelope all like this so they're not the paper patterns but they're not as flimsy as tissue either they're quite a nice uh composite is that the right word um so what i've done is you can see here i want to retain the originals so i've just laid them out trace them off to the size that i want and then i've just marked on that i have traced them just to keep them all in order so i've very much worked around that book for my purchases so the first thing to show you, I suppose, would be this one I've just held up, actually, and it is the Erin skirt. Do you recall I made last week the lilac coloured skirt and um, with the buttons down the front? Um, well, that was the twirl and it was the twirl in readiness for this. Um, with that, bear with me a second. Let's go back to the Erin skirt. I was just about to show you um, the fabric that I'm using for the Erin and I am just going to go for a very traditional light coloured denim fabric for that. So it'll be a staple piece of my wardrobe that takes me all the way through summer. So the Erin will have the buttons down the front. Um, I can show you the sample I did first, um, which were not finished because it's a bit too small. So if anybody wants a, an unfinished size 8 skirt, you're welcome to it. But that is the Erin there. 
that's a sample piece it'll have pockets in it i'll use a nice lining for the pockets in there as i did on the actual finished lilac skirt that i made so that's certainly going to be one of the staple pieces around my wardrobe is the erin the next thing i want to go with my erin skirt is a top um, and i'm going to make a couple of tops to go with this the first one i'm going to make is the molly top now i've already made the molly top once um, if you get checked through my feed you'll see that i made a black knit um, top with little flowers on but what you won't have seen in it is because of all the business busyness really is some of the detail in it so what I plan to do with this is make more of a feature out of the fact that it's dropped shoulders in the molly top and in the sleeves that come all the way down here that they, they you, can, you can change the direction of the print if you go for something really obvious like a stripe. So that's what I've run with. So again, I've already traced it off so I've retained the original. And what I plan to use for this is this most beautiful red fabric it's not it's certainly not a t-shirt weight which is what i thought i was probably ordering and i'm actually really pleased because it's that little bit thicker and it is kind of it looks smarter somehow it's gonna look really really nice dressed up if i want to so it's a proper scarlet red color and that will be the main part of all of my top and then the plan is, again, from Weaver Diva, I bought this red and white tubular again. So half a metre there. OK, and what I hope to do, all being well and subject to it fitting, is make the sleeves in the stripe that come down there. If there's enough, I'll go in and I'll do the collar too. So we've now got a nice, relaxed, smart looking um, red and white top to go with my blue skirt. But what if it gets a little bit chilly? No problem. I should be making the Lola coat, also from the ebook, and there's my pattern. Not going to trace that one off because there's a lot more pieces to this. Um, what I wanted to do is make this, it's very waterfally as it comes down. Do you like my little demo? It's very waterfally. Um, and you can make it in a really short um, length if you want to, or you can go much longer and take it down towards your knees. Uh, you can have it so it just drapes, or you can take it in with a, a belt as well. Um, but I like the idea of it just sort of skimming over my body, really. Um, I have got this fabric. It is absolutely gorgeous to the touch. It is described as, again, I should just leave a piece of paper on my desk, really um teal viscose twill it's got petrol tones to it which i like it is a grayish kind of color but it's got warmth to it which i really really love and i've certainly probably over bought that but that's going to go really nice to go with that in particular for when i want to dress everything up a little bit more um, I've got this next fabric which is a John Luden cotton fabric and it's to make the Alex shirt dress okay this is it isn't that beautiful it's got a really nice weight to it this uh, cotton fabric it's not stiff at all um, it's got a nice weight not too thin not too thick it's not creasing in my hand when I do that I don't think um really pretty colors in there it's got a really nice background green color um but i really like the gentleness of the pinks and the whites i wouldn't say i tend to wear really really girly fabrics but this has got that just the right level of sophistication and if i bring in back this color again of the jacket i'm going to make in the waterfall they just go really really well together the Alex shirt is probably very much as you would expect very shirt like again it can be nipped in it can just hang if you want it to as I recall it's got a bit of a dipped hem to the back of it all and it's just going to have a really really nice look to it okay. so thinking about the green colors the green gray sort of tones um, I'm also going to be making the pussy bow blouse um, this is one I've made before, um, but the sizing, I did need to increase it a little bit. So I'm going to have a go probably for the first time at making a full bust adjustment to see if I can work on the fit of this now, because it is a very, very lovely pattern uh, by Lisa Comfort. Um, and I have chosen this fabric here. 
So again, it's got those green tones. I am a blue fan. I love my blues, um, but it just takes it into summer, I think, when you start working with this sort of colour palette. So that, again, works just so well with that as a, a jacket just to throw on. That'll be the pussy bow blouse. And then I can pair it up then with my blue skirt. And I'll just feel just really lovely. It, it's like that smart look, isn't it, without being over the top. So we're getting through our makes now. I've got three things left I want to show you. My next make um, is going to look very, very simple. And I've chosen simple for a reason. So I'm going to show you the pattern first that I've chosen. It's this one I've had in my stash for ages. And I'm going to choose um, one of these tops here. Very, very basic shape. Um, it's got the front as one piece. And then on the back, we've got two panels and the keyhole opening where we can put a little rouleau loop in. Um, or our couture closure finish, which I'll go for. The reason why I've gone for a very basic shape here is because the fabric is divine i have looked at this fabric so many times but it is so expensive but i managed to get it for a bit of a bargain not going to tell you how much for but i can tell you it sells for 20 pounds a meter but take note and caution of the edge look and that is the reason why i've chosen such a simple pattern it's fraying in my hands I don't want to mess with this. I'm going to treat it like it's cobwebs and barely touch it. I do not want to handle this at all. It's very see-through. So I'm not going to be making a dress with it or anything like that. It's not going to be a skirt, not even a lined one. But it's beautiful. I can't tell you what the composite is. I don't know what it's made of. But it's got all this texture to it. And it's just got these beautiful colours. And again, when I match that top up with my blue denim skirt here and I bring in the colours from the waterfall with that being light and airy that being light and airy it's just going to be a lovely go-to outfit during the summer months when the heat comes so I need to fold this up now I've got a lot of this as well so I'm probably going to have a lot left over so what have we got left some fabric that's been sat in my stash for a good while now um it's a viscose twill from sea salt let me pull you a bit closer from sea salt i love this one i've got three meters of it it retails at 44 pounds 95 i did not pay that do not panic i paid half the price i got it in the 50 percent. i think it was 50 percent or 70 percent sale so it was an absolute bargain it's beautiful it's soft it's got a warmth to it but it is quite a spring summery kind of weight with this i'm going to use a fabric make a fabric hungry pattern which i've made once before and it was a flop but this time it's going to be a, 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 an epic win i think i'm gonna make the doris dress okay so a little bit flirty nice scoop on it um really nice style to it there's two versions available we've got the longer skirt and then we've got the shorter skirt we can go for the tie detail or non-tie detail um i'll decide on that as i get to it but you do need quite a bit of fabric in that skirt so we need anywhere between um uh, depending on what version 3.2 meters down to 2.1 so i know i've got plenty of fabric in, in what i've got there so that's on my to-do list and finally i'm going to be making something out of the um new tilly in the buttons book make it simple lots of nice patterns in here um but i'm going to go for well actually it's the one on the front sophia or Safia, sophia that's what i'm going to be making um and i'm going to make it out of None other than more bluey, greeny kind of colour. Um, I'm going to be making it out of this. It's got a really nice drape to it. Nice bit of warmth to it. Um, it is quite thin. Hopefully it won't be too thin. Um, I probably ideally need something with a little bit more structure. But again, because I'm going to need a deal of fabric for it, I'm going to choose this one. That is my plan. 
so i don't know when i plan to get all of this made by i really really don't but um i feel i feel organized for actually having a plan it's something i've not done before so you know let, let's just see how it works out see if it keeps me organized and on track and i'll keep you informed as i make progress